sa Kababayan Today. Ako po si G. Tanji. Now, it's time to learn about the Pensionado Program. The Pensionado Program was established in 1903 by Governor Taft and the Second Philippine Commission. It was known as the Act 854 or the Pensionado Act. At the ending of the bloody war between the Philippines and the United States, the United States realized that it needed to promote good relations with the Philippine people in light of the recent bloody past. The program was established to place bright students into American universities as a gesture of goodwill and as a means of planting the seeds of democracy in the Philippines. The first contingency of pensionados numbered 104 and were from 37 various provinces from the Philippines. Kasama natin on Skype si Art Villaruz from Merced to talk about his father, Primo Villaruz, who was a pensionado. Hello, Art. How are you, Giselle? I'm very good. Thank you so much for Skyping with us. Let's talk about your father, Primo Villaruz. He was sure. a pensionado. Right. Okay, so what had, what age did he come to America? You know, he must have been about 24, 23, because uh, at that time, they, by the time he got into the program, it was in the latter stages, and the program was fading out. But he went in in about 1925. Okay, and then the college that he got accepted to go to is? He went, he went to UC Berkeley. A very prestigious school until today. And what did he take up at UC Berkeley? He majored in uh, civil engineering and chemistry. This is wonderful. Okay, so he came here from the Philippines. Where from in the Philippines is your father from? He came from a small town in Capis known as Ibisan. Okay, and so he came here as a pensionado, and as we know, the pensionados were required to move back to the Philippines when they graduated, but your father's story is quite different. Talk to us about that. You know, when he came here, he, uh, after he graduated, he was very fortunate to be accepted in Stockton as a chemist engineer purifying water, and it was while he was there that he uh, met my mother who had also come from the Philippines in search of her father who had served in the Spanish-American War. But his intention was always to go back and help his country. In fact, uh, Giselle, it's kind of interesting in that he really didn't become a citizen until the 50s. He'd been here all that time because his intent was really to go back and to help uh, with his uh, country. So that was one of the things that he felt he never accomplished. But he did serve the pension auto program in other ways. All right, and um, because your fa you are a direct descendant of a pensionado, uh, and we're talking about this for Filipino American History Month on Kababayan today to pay tribute, uh, it's so important to learn about our history. What did your father share with you when he was growing up about his time when he was a pensionado? You know, he said at the time that he was going to school that it was very unfortunate that it was just the, the time it was during the Depression, and it was during a time in American history where uh, there was a lot of racial prejudice uh, towards minorities and so on. And so at the time that many of the Filipinos came here, many of them were, were brought here to work in the fields of, in, around the United States. And uh, my father was very fortunate that when he graduated that he was able to get a professional job. And it's kind of interesting to sell that uh, he, when the Depression hit, a lot of the Filipinos in the Stockton area were put out of jobs. They were the first ones who were to be released. And so my father, because he had a professional job, was able to, would you believe, bought a, uh, a, a house of prostitution and converted that into a board room and brought those Filipinos in from the fields and, and took care of them. So that was one of the things that as a pensionado, he felt obligated to help his countrymen. But that was just one of the few things that he did because throughout his life, he was always in some leadership position of helping his fellow countrymen. Well, that's very, uh, it's a very inspiring story. Art, thank you so much for taking the time to share your father's story, uh, Primo Villaruz. We pay tribute to him uh, for our Filipino American History Month for being a pensionado. Maraming salamat, Art, and we look forward to speaking with you once again. Thank you very much, Giselle. You have a good day. All right. Bye. At uh, kasama naman natin si Mario Arosa uh, when we return here on Kababayan Today, another descendant of a pensionado. We'll be right back on Kababayan Today.